All right, thanks a lot, Sam. As you mentioned, uh, standing by with trainer Irv Miller. Irv actually has a couple in this uh, $15,000 guaranteed pick four, beginning right here in the opening leg, race six, and then in race nine as well with Idol Gideon. Irv, first off, we'll start with a three here, Jet Airway, and he really seems to have uh, found his best stride up in Canada. He held his own with some top stakes company, and he uh, finds himself in late closer here tonight. Yeah, he's uh, had a Canadian final tonight and didn't make the final, so we put him in the late closer here this week. He's got the international down here next week. So we can't see him in stakes action next week? Yeah, it depends on how he races tonight, uh, where we go further, you know, down the road. But he's just one of them green horses that big colt needs to grow up a little. All right. And he did make one break there, but he recovered very nicely. Came back, finished second by a neck. Is that a recurring problem or just maybe a freak accident? No, he's a little like that. He's a little spooky about things, and I think that's what happened up there that night. They said the, the big uh, lights on the car that, that show how many minutes or time to post uh, had him off set off there. Okay, and uh, finally, race nine tonight, Ideal Jenny. Tough field. It's an 11-horse field, but she has shown some big speed at times. What do you expect from her tonight? Yeah, I think it's a tough group of horses uh, for her. She's not been in that with that company here lately, but we'll definitely give it a try. And uh, finally, tomorrow, actually, I want to bring up a couple of horses that have done very well over this track in the uh, past. Of course, blatantly best, a, a Kentucky Sire Stakes performer. You guys did very well down here with him. He actually looks like he's got a big shot in his division tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. In the late closer, he just got in under the numbers where he, he fits that class pretty well. Yeah, I believe so as well. It's probably uh, going to be a short price there. And how about Pine Credit? We saw him have some success last year in stakes action. He's back in tomorrow. It appears to uh, have a shot as well. Yeah, he's uh, just had hard luck this year. If it hadn't been one thing, it's been bad draw or something else. They thought he was real good up there in the Canadian Trot Classic, but never got through to get any money and just, I think, a little hard luck. Good trip tomorrow. Well, should be all systems go? I think so. He's really, he, we brought him down there, and he seems real good over this track. Good deal. That's race 13 tomorrow. Pine Credit, I believe he is 9 to 2 in the morning line. But the big news here, Sam, $15,000. That guaranteed pick four pool. Fans just have a couple of minutes to get those wagers in. It starts right now.